So we're just gonna do a little update. We now have eight babies and they're really cute. They're all doing good. They're all nursing good. And um, we were really wanting to catch a birth on film. So Sydney is out here and she said that one of our, one of our U's is um, having some bloody discharge and is probably getting pretty close. So we're just kind of coming out here to see if we could catch it. So this is her. She's been pawing the ground and finding spots to lay down. So get up and do it again, so he said. Just lay down and now she's up again. He does look like a cat. Your baby's over here. See right there. That's your baby. Right there. Yeah, I see that. See it? He's tall, goodness. So what's her what sweet's other baby? It's right there. The black head and shoulders. This one. Why is it holding its mouth open? Who's I guess it's hot. It's yeah. it's Well, update. Uh, we are trying to get out here. We see this you that we were looking at earlier, and um, she appears to be in active labor now. She's laying on her side and moving a lot and grunting a lot and contracting. So we're going to come down here and see if we can actually catch this birth. Just 
See your belly getting hard like that? That's what's happening. It's a contraction. Can be seen. planting day today, huh? to give you guys a little update um, while the kids were not in here because we've had a rough morning um, so the ewe that we were watching yesterday and um, her labor was taking a while and so I was hoping and praying nothing was going wrong um, but she ended up delivering two stillborn babies um, overnight and so Sydney found them this morning when um, she was um, going to check on everybody and um, so naturally she was upset about that um, <clears throat> but she understands farm life we we understand that um, these things happen and it um, doesn't make them easy but um, we understand that that's just part of it um, and then just as soon as that happened um, and Adam went and got the babies and everything um, the mom's doing fine, by the way. She's doing she's doing good, so we're glad we didn't lose her also. But um, but uh, we actually Adam's been super proud and um, rightly so of this beautiful giant pumpkin that he is trying to grow, and he planted this thing in in the greenhouse many many weeks ago and it was be it was looking beautiful the plant was just thriving and doing great he was going to plant that today and um ended up dropping it and it broke in two so um that kind of undid everybody at that point we were all kind of holding strong until that happened it was just like one thing after the other <clears throat> so um of course he handled it well um and um we uh, are going to do a lot of planting today we're going it's a rainy day but we're going to go out I wasn't actually planning on filming today <clears throat> but I did want to give you guys an update and let you know what is going on and also to encourage you because this really um, came to my mind this morning and it really encouraged me that when bad things happen um my friend Jess um did a video a couple years ago I think and I'm going to link that in the description because I think it is so important especially for right now while people are so freaked out and scared and disappointed and sad um that you know the scripture says that um, Satan is here to um, steal kill and destroy well you know she said in the video I don't think Satan cares a thing about the things that are so important to us um, you know our animals that die or whatever disappointments may come like he doesn't care anything about that all he wants is our worship he wants us to doubt the goodness of God and I think that is so true especially in times like this where we 
where we're surrounded by um, fear and um, disappointment and sadness he wants us to doubt how good God is and um, we won't let him have that we just won't so we're gonna go plant today we're going to celebrate life and cultivate life and nurture it and um, and see what God has in store for us Y'all know those memes um, that are going around like, uh, sorry for what I said during quarantine. It's kind of what we're experiencing the last few days. <laughs> this is time out. This is time out right here. We seem to be doing a lot of that. Anyone else? <laughs> it will not break. Come on, bud. <laughs> Look. That's weird. And it can Daddy, <laughs> oh my gosh! Look at this! Oh my goodness gracious! <laughs> Look at that! Oh my gosh, great! Was this one of Daddy's tomato steaks? Yeah. Goodness. And there's Archway. <laughs> Bendy steak. Oh, hello. I didn't it? know you were in the garden shed. <laughs> Michelle, you help me. So what are we planting? Is it broken? Oh, I heard a crack. Oh. Let's see. So what are we planting, guys? Right there. Well, that's unusual. <laughs> well, that's unusual. What are we planting? Okay, um, we're planting tomatoes. Tomatoes and lettuce. Okay. Ooh. And beets. So change of plans. It was what? How many? It was 18 inches. Well, that's not a big of a difference. What? Well, we didn't think we'd have enough room to walk through here. So. Y'all, the mosquitoes. The mosquitoes are out. And they're everywhere. <laughs> Jamaica, bud. Okay, so that's his birthday. Is his birthday. Yeah. It almost is his birthday. When is it? It's in a just in two weeks. We'll have to make him a real birthday cake, won't we? That's his birthday cake? That's very nice. <laughs> this is one of, the, one, one of the feed barrels. Oh gosh. I know I got pollen all over the camera too. Bunch of pollen. Yep, Miss 
set down. Sydney, you want to be a hole digger? Digger. I mean, you can use this. You can kind of put it. It really needs to be about right there. So you just put this over the line and push it down just a little bit. Maybe you just have to it. Wiggle it around. It doesn't need to be too deep. And Stella, you got the fragile job. So you just grab, grab up here on the leaves like this, and then take your finger up under it. Fragile job. You're doing a great job, I thought. Uh, so, what we got going on? Three rows of tomatoes today? So, that's 300 approximately? Or should be exactly? Sydney, I need one plant down here. morning spinach and lettuce yeah. and kale kale carrots and turnips and oh a lot <laughs> lettuce Swiss chard Swiss chard all right so that about wraps up today uh, we'll talk to you guys next time bye